<laughs> oh my god. Um, what, what an adventure. I'm in LA. I'm in LA. I'm sitting in LAX airport right now. Um, I've got like an hour to wait before my bag is going to get here. Um, got some time to kill, thought I'd talk to you. Um, yeah, it was, God, it was insane. Um, so I got, like, I got all my boxes packed up and ready to go and shipped and everything. Well, not shipped, that was the problem, eh? Um, people to come pick them up. Didn't get there before I left. Oh, no, big Talked to Carolyn a lot, but she couldn't help me at all. Da -da 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 -da. Ended up relying on the lovely, lovely one of my advisees, Kimmy. Uh, gave her my keys. Um, and and uh, to the best of my knowledge, she was just going to take care of that. Now, I, I've got an email saying that didn't work out, that X lied, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, I'll figure that out later. But Kimmy's a very wonderful human being, and that was very, very nice of her. I get out. I'm, I'm running, I don't know, like maybe 20 minutes late, but that's okay because I put like an hour and a half buffer in between the two hour buffer that the airport makes you give on top of the like hour that's actually reasonable for you to show up. So I'm fine, right? Right, right, yeah, I'm totally fine. I catch my train, my Metro North, um, but my direction, my, my, my TARDIS directions tell me to get off at Harlem. TARDIS is my iPhone, sorry. They tell me to get off the Har Harlem station at 125th Street instead of Grand Central. I'm gonna guess that my technology probably knows more about New York public transit than I do, so I follow the, the directions it gives me. It makes me run three blocks with my 49.5 pound bag and my laptop bag slung over my shoulders through Harlem. Just makes me sprint three blocks in like five minutes. Okay, whatever, I do it, it's fine. Um, then it has, I got, I get on like the F, get off on 59th Street, and it has me transferring to the F line. This is all gibberish to me, by the way. Um, but the F lines, it just says transfer from 5 to the F line. The F line station is at 63rd Street. It left me at 59th Street with three minutes to get from one to the other. And I don't know how familiar anybody watching this is, is with the 63rd and Lexington uh, stop of the F line, but it's like five stories underground and I didn't realize that so I just keep going down these staircases thinking that around the next corner will be a train that I can take. I get down to the bottom level, five stories underground or whatever it is, just as the train's leaving. I'm out of hope at this point, ready to collapse. I feel like I'm gonna die. Um, I figure, okay, I'll just wait for the next train. Pull out my iPhone, try to figure out, okay, like, is there something better I can be doing? No service, because I'm five stories underground. I'm an idiot. Um, I catch the next F line, just kind of follow the directions as I remember them, kind of the same way I walked across LA when, when my iPhone died halfway through that. Um, uh, okay, so F line, I take the next one, take the E to the air tram thing that gets me to JFK, I don't know. There are delays on all of these trains, just stuck underground, like, eh, you know what, we don't feel like moving for a while, so you're just gonna sit here. And, you know, that's fine, it's fine. Public transit, things happen, it's totally understandable, that's why you put in buffer time, but you don't really expect it to happen, like, three, four, five, a hundred times in a row. That's a lot. Um, I get to JFK, five. Yeah, that's actually five, huh. I can count. Uh, five minutes before the, the checked baggage cutoff for JFK. Um, which, of course, if you're there five minutes before the cutoff, they consider it to be within the cutoff because they don't want to deal with that sort of thing, which is why I'm, I'm waiting an hour for, for my luggage, which is on a different flight. Um, 
they let me check in anyway. Um, I sprint to the gate. Luckily, there's no security line whatsoever. Sprint to the gate. The gate's changed. They didn't tell me that at check-in. Sprint to another gate. Find out that the boarding pass I actually have is actually for a flight tomorrow. Go to the desk. Beg to be allowed on the flight. They say, okay. Let me on the flight. Um, six hours later... I'm in LA.